I'm going to be solving the 2001 AMC 10 problem 21. Let's read the problem. A right circular cylinder with its diameter equal to its height is inscribed in a right circular cone. The cone has diameter 10 and altitude 12, and the axes of the cylinder and cone coincide. Find the radius of the cylinder. So I've drawn a diagram here, and this diagram isn't three-dimensional, even though the shapes are three-dimensional, but rather it's a cross-section, or a two-dimensional version, which is like a side view of it. So the cylinder is going to look like a square, because it says in the question that the diameter is equal to its height, and so that's why we can just call it, like, we can call it x, perhaps. And so if we just denote a side as x of the cylinder, um, and then we see these uh, lengths that are given to us. The diameter is 10, and the altitude is 12. Um, of the cone. And so we know that the height is 12, and so we can also denote that. And the diameter is 10. And so we can also denote that. And so now from here, we're going to have to draw in some extra lines and find some similar triangles to be able to find the radius of the cylinder. And keep in mind that the radius of the cylinder, which I can call R c is equal to x over 2 because we know that the diameter and height of the cylinder are both x therefore the radius is going to be x over 2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call I'm going to split the top of the cylinder the center of the top base of the cylinder and then I'm going to call each of these x over 2. And what I can do here, oops, I can call this height right here 12 minus x. And note that I'm allowed to do that because I know that the total height or the altitude of the cone is 12. And the height taken by the cylinder is x. And so the remaining height is going to be 12 minus x. And so the ratio of the radius formed by the top base of the cylinder to the altitude of the small cone formed Above it is x over 2 to 12 minus x, so I can write that here, x over 2 divided by 12 minus x. And I know by angle-angle similarity, namely this angle right here, um, and then if I extended this down here, both of these are right angles, that the two triangles, and I'm going to add some letters here, I can call them a, b, c, and then I'm going to draw the same point down here, d and e. I know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE if D is just segment AB extended out to the base of the cone. And so what I can say is, I'm just going to rewrite that, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. Now what I can do from here is I can set up a proportion because of CPCTC, or in this case it's more like corresponding parts of similar triangles are similar. So CPSTS, I guess you could say. Um, I know that the corresponding lengths are going to have identical ratios in the two triangles ABC and ADE. So what I mean to say is that BC divided by AB, or x over 2 divided by 12 minus x, which I have written here, it's going to be equal to the radius of the big cone divided by the altitude of the big cone. And so I know that the radius of the big cone is 5 because I'm given in the question that the diameter is 10. And so I can say that this is equal to 5 divided by the altitude, which in the question is given to be 12. And so I know that this proportion is true. Now I can cross multiply, and I would get 12 times x over 2 equals 5 times 12 minus x. Now what I do from here is I set 6x equal to 60 minus 5x. Therefore, adding 5x to both sides, I get 11x equals 60. So x equals 60 over 11. But we have to be careful. We have to remember what x represents in this question. We represented x as either the height of the cylinder or the diameter of the cylinder, both of them. But the question is actually asking for the radius of the cylinder. And so the radius of the cylinder is just going to be half of this. So x over 2, the radius, is equal to 30 over 11, which is our answer, which is also just b.